Hey Friday, hope you're having a good day thus far. It is a Friday. It's a wet Friday. Everybody's going to get wet. This weather system, this atmospheric river, which is one of the better ones I've seen in terms of North Bay centric, in terms of useful because it's early in the season. So the two biggest surface reservoirs in the state of California that service the most people, Lake Shasta, Lake Orville, are just getting pounded with rain. Those they're rapidly coming up. This is early in the season. This is the perfect. It's the perfect. I mean, except for some of the issues we're seeing in downtown Santa Rosa with some urban. It's really right now the way this has gone is perfect because now it's moving out of the North Bay, where they've had ridiculous amounts of rain, but able to handle it because of the topography. And now it's moving into the South Bay and the Central Bay, San Francisco, areas that aren't so good at handling a lot of water and bring that haven't had a lot of water from this are now going to get a couple inches of rain over the course of the day today. And now the mountains, this thing moves into the mountains as sort of a kind of a cold front component to it now. So the colder air, lower snow levels, they're going to get a couple feet of snow in the mountains. So early season, big ass atmospheric river, so far, so good, you know, as, for, as, as best can be managed. You know, there's a lot of road issues and things like that, but it, it's a pretty awesome way to get water in the state, at least thus far. We'll see how today goes. You can see, if you look up towards Healdsburg and Cloverdale, you can see them starting to get in the clear. I mean, not clear, but the heavy rain is now down towards moving into Vallejo, more towards Larkspur and moving out of even Santa Rosa, the last couple of frames, you're seeing the back edge of this system kind of pushing through. So the rain is gonna, this system is gonna tilt like a, a traditional cold front. We talked about that yesterday. And it's gonna translate through the Bay Area through the course of the day, but slowly. Now at one point yesterday, it looked like it was gonna move. The models had it moving fairly quickly. But right now, it looks like this thing is gonna kind of click through pretty slowly. And that's gonna bring significant rain to the Central Bay, uh, San Francisco, Oakland, Hayward, San Mateo, Fremont, San Jose, inch, inch and a half, two inches of rain maybe, we'll see. We're gonna probably see some urban and small stream flooding concerns for the Central Bay, but again, haven't had a lot of rain in this area so we can manage it and it's moving out of the areas that have had a lot of rain so they can drain a little bit. So I, I'm so far very pleased with this system, here we are. You can see the atmospheric river. Oops, I didn't want to do that. But you can see the atmospheric river moving up into the mountains. And you can see, what do you see? Well, you see the clearing line right there. That's down to the clearing line up into Lake County. You're starting to get some breaks. So the rainfall accumulations have been, oh, let me get rid of this thing. The rainfall accumulations have been prolific in the North Bay. Let's start off, okay, we're down to Santa Cruz. Let's go, this is a CNFRC. This is the River Forecast Center three-day rain total. So San Francisco's had 0.92. You go a couple miles to the north and they've had over three inches of rain. You go another half a mile and you got three and a half inches. You go up to Mount Tam and you've got eight inches of rain. You go up into San Rafael. This is over the course of the system. You've had eight inches of rain. <coughs> Pardon me. Just look at that cold. And again, nine inches out in the uh, Marin County watershed. And then when you get up into Santa Rosa, you're getting into it, man. I mean, this is some prolific stuff. The colors, by the way, represent the heavier rainfall. So you see how it's going from lighter colors to darker colors. The red's representing nearly a foot of rain. Uh, orange is representing over a foot of rain. We've got, I think I got one side here, 18 inches of rain up by kind of Covalo, 22 inches of rain up in the hills, up out of uh, Eel, uh, out of the Russian River drainage, way out of the, actually farther to the north, Eel River. So these are ridiculous amounts of rainfall. And they're all, fine. let me back this out, maybe we can do this. This is a lot of, these are the, but you can remember I mentioned the colors represent how much rain has fallen. So look at these, look at these numbers. I'm, I'll go back way out, sorry about you getting sick, but you can see where the rain hits, right? You can see where the heaviest rain has fallen over the last, couple of a uh, couple of days and the rush the Shasta area the Orville area getting some pretty good rain like I said on those reservoirs the surface reservoirs up in northern California getting hit pretty good and then you see the rapid fall off so that's some of the rainfall totals and then we can see the San Francisco area and then it drops off quickly
So it's an awesome storm. It really is so far. Winds have been gusty. There's a wind advisory. The red numbers, these little numbers here, that 29 represent wind gusts. So just glancing around, I don't know if you can see this. If you're on your phone, you won't be able to see it. But you know, 25, I got a 42 mile an hour gust up near Santa Rosa, 31 mile an hour gust in the Santa Cruz Mountains, up around Lake Tahoe. We've got snow that is starting to fall, but it's gonna really take a little time. You're going, oh, well, why isn't it, you know, why aren't they chaining up yet? The warmer air is kind of there, and so the snow levels are kind of high. You can see how wet it is at Kingvale. That's gonna change over. The cool air is coming in this afternoon and this evening, and it will drop snow down to lower elevations, 50, you know, Blue Canyon, and then you're gonna see potentially up to, uh, I, well, I'm hoping maybe a couple feet of snow. Let's see if I can get a good camera going here for you. Um, we've seen that one, I've seen this one, let's see. So let's see if I can get that going, there we go. So this is, I love these Caltran cameras. This is um, up on I-80 again, kind of up towards Soda Springs. And again, right, that's not that, you're not, you're, it's not blowing you away. I'll show you this same picture tomorrow in Sunday, it, it'll blow you away how much snow is gonna be up there. So it's definitely um, gonna turn into a snow event as we go through the next 12 hours, as it moves into the hills. And it moves out of the areas that have had all the rain. Tahoe hasn't had that much rain or snow, but I'll tell you who has, Marin County, Sonoma County. Uh, in Napa County as well. So here is the atmospheric river right here. And we've looked at this before. This is the GFS, precipitable water. And you'll see it, how it moves today. This is today. This is over the next few hours. See how it kind of sticks over the central bay and then clicks south. And I'll put a circle around this so you can see it. And then rapidly moves out of the area. And then, then there, so that's it. That's the atmospheric river. It's still kind of moist on Saturday. And then you see some more moisture try to work its way up. But it's, it's still kind of moist on Saturday, but the main crux of that river has moved through. GFS uh, put a circle around the Bay Area here, and you can see it click through today. And it kind of hangs up. This is, what time is that? That's it, uh, Saturday morning. And you see it moving into, staying in the mountains, and then clicking off. So it is definitely, let me large this up for you. That's Steamers Lane. So it's definitely moving out and it's definitely giving the North Bay a break. And we've definitely had beneficial rainfall from this. Um, and hopefully it hasn't caused too many problems and won't cause too many problems. The birds are sitting down, the pelicans on the point. This is Steamer Lane. Yeah, the surf's pretty big, but you can't tell because the winds are on shore. Tide's kind of high, very nasty out in the ocean. No reason to go out there in, 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 in the ocean at any point. And I would stay clear of the ocean for a good, I'd stay clear of the ocean for a couple of three days. So this is down towards uh, Santa Clara. And I just wanted you to see the clouds today. They haven't had any rain, right? Or very little. The clouds are dropping, dropping. This is in the last couple of hours. This is this morning. But it's dropping down and that's getting ready for this system to come in. And you can kind of see it working its way in right now. And um, it will get there and they will get over an inch of rain in parts of the Santa Clara Valley. So good news. Um, we will see some flood advisories pop up in the Central Bay Area today. The commute's going to be nasty. Getting out of town you know, Friday, I guess this next week's a holiday. It's a Friday. So driving is going to be a, an issue. If you're trying to go to Lake Tahoe, you want to go to the mountains, you got to go now or wait until, wait a while. Because <laughs> it's going to be nasty up there. Tonight, overnight, into tomorrow, I wouldn't want to travel up around Lake Tahoe. The ocean's a bad place to be. Uh, the commute's kind of nasty. Hunker down. Big game day game on Saturday. Weather looks pretty good. Um, and then we kind of have a little kind of a moist pattern that carries us into Sunday, Monday, but it looks benign compared to what we have just seen. Whew. Okay. I think that's it. I mean, there's obviously way more. If something comes up, I'll, I'll pop in on this. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Appreciate the subscriptions and uh, any suggestions. I love, I love the notes you guys leave me. Um, it helps um, to, to hear what you need or what you don't need. Okay, see you back here.